So if you created your insert from Custom Thumb and you're looking to put it in your switch grip, we're gonna show you how to do that today. Step number one, you're gonna take a blank inner and you're gonna put it inside of your current existing switch grip hole. You're gonna wanna take a gripping pad and your switcheroo and twist that in there to make sure that that is locked all the way. Once you've cut down your inner, step number two requires you to take a grease pencil or a scribe and you're going to want to mark the exact back of your thumb hole. Now this line has already been scribed on this bowling ball, so all I need to do is take my grease pencil, line up that scribe line and draw it onto the inner so that the back of my custom thumb lines up with that grease pencil line. Now we're on to step number three. You're going to take your inner out of the bowling ball and you can either take a scribe, a bevel knife, anything sharp, even some sandpaper and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rasp or really scuff up the inside of this inner so that the custom thumb fits in really snug. Step number four, once you've rasped or scored the inside of the inner, you're gonna do the same to the outside of your insert, just like you would a normal slug. So I'm gonna take some screen, I'm gonna scuff it up a little bit. Also additionally in this step, I'd also get, recommend taking a sanding block or some screen once again, and just kind of sand off some of the burrs that you might get so that the thumb fits inside the inner without any friction. Step number five, now we're gonna start working with the Easy Poxy. Now once again, this is a one-to-one -one ratio and you're just gonna eye one-to-one -one ratio into the cup. And you only need to use just about the same amount as you would when you're inserting a slug. So you don't need a lot of Easy Poxy. And I'm just kinda eyeing this and I'll show you in a second how much I used before I mix it together. I'm just going to take my swizzle stick once again and just mix that together for a few seconds here, about 30 seconds. And as you're mixing this, you'll notice it may not smell great. Once you've mixed for 30 seconds, you're then going to go back to your insert and you're going to take some of this easy epoxy and you're going to place it just about three quarters of an inch down and use just about the same amount you would as you were using a slug. No more, no less and that will allow the new insert to sit in there nice and tight and securely. So I'm just gonna do this about three or four times, spread it out a little bit, just about a three quarters of an inch or so down from the top of the inner. Step number six, you're gonna take your custom thumb, your blank switch grip inner, and you're gonna put them together. Remember that grease pencil line we drew on the back of the inner? You're gonna line that up with the line in the back of your custom thumb. You're gonna put them together, make sure that stays lined up, and you're going to want the lowest point on that custom thumb to be even with the switch grip inner. And you may have a little bit overhanging and that's okay. Once this dries, you can put it back into your ball and you can cut that down just a little bit. Step number seven, you're going to let the Easy Epoxy dry for about 45 minutes to fully cure and to use it. And if you end up with a little bit overhang as this one is, you can always take some screen, sanding block, or even your plug cutter and just cut it down to where it's nice and flush for the customer.